My name is Jennifer Norris Hale, and I'm the founder of Mission Motherhood. Mission Motherhood has a specific focus on providing emotional, practical, and social support for mothers and primary caregivers in need. One way our focus can be addressed is by making sure mothers, all mothers, have access to diapers. I'm here to advocate for how our diaper bank and communal distribution network will work as a safety net to support mothers and children in our community. If you're a parent or a caregiver of young children, think about how many diapers you may have. You may easily be able to estimate a case, some at your diaper table, some in your diaper bag, but for families with diaper need, the caregiver knows exactly how many diapers they have and how long those will last until their next paycheck, hopefully. Diaper need affects one in three mothers. In a 2013 study, the American Academy of Pediatrics identified a correlation between a mother's mental health and her ability to provide diapers for her child. The less able a mother is to provide diapers, the more her mental health is impacted. In fact, it's even more distressing to moms than not having enough food for their children or their family. Why is that? Accessibility. For vulnerable and low-income families, diapers simply are not accessible, and as they are not seen as a basic need, they are, they are not covered by WIC or other state and federal programs. Diapers are considered a luxury item. On average, diapers cost approximately $18 a week or $936 per year per child. In our own community, the Women and Girls Fund study found that single mother families with at least one child under five years old have a poverty rate of nearly 60%. It's a major stressor in an already pressurized situation. Here's an example. Diaper need can result in working parents having to miss work because they cannot provide diapers to a daycare. If a child is not in daycare regularly, it affects federal and state subsidies a family may receive which is dependent on the child's attendance. In addition, families struggling to provide diapers may be in a position to reuse disposable diapers, have to allow their child to sit in a soil diaper for hours, or even limit liquid intake to reduce diaper use. Diaper need results in more doctor visits due to serious rash and UTIs. The lack of diapers may even result in claims of neglect and yet all of this is 100% preventable. It is not called diaper want or diaper luxury. It is diaper need, and it is a real and private struggle for families in our community. And it's not just newborns. Diaper need expands beyond a child's first year of life. In many cases, the highest need for diapers is the larger sizes because of the lack of distribution and reduced quantity in larger sizes. We currently do not have an easily accessible, no strings attached, all access resource for families in need to request or receive diapers, but we can change that. By providing a diaper bank with various satellite pantries and strategic community partners that will allow for organizations and families to utilize a one-stop shop, no questions asked, access for diapers. A Washington Post article from, Mar from March 2021 provides evidence that diaper banks work in other communities. So let's bring one to Fort Wayne. Reducing parental stress for vulnerable families and bridging a deep gap for families to provide a basic need for their children. Together, by this simple act, we're building a better community, one diaper at a time. Thank you.